Roger Montgomery and welcome to this two-part series on GPT booms. Now, when I talk about GPT, I'm not referring to OpenAI's ChatGPT, but the abbreviation for General Purpose Technologies. We've seen those GPT booms before, the rise of international freight overseas, steam locomotion, the automobile, commercial flight, the TV, the internet, and now AI. In this part one of our two-part series, I'll describe how GPT booms develop with references to the current AI boom, and in part two, we'll talk about how they end. The first requirement of a GPT boom, or bubble, is defined by the hype that drives super exponential share price growth. You can see this here in the first chart of Nvidia's share price. The rapid but ultimately transient growth of the expected price, faster than exponential, is for some investors the very definition of a bubble. It's when the growth rate of the price itself accelerates, fueled by herding behavior as followers hop on board out of a fear of missing out, creating a self-reinforcing cycle. As the same price behavior is evident in the NASDAQ index, let's tick that off as a requirement met. The next element is bubble participants doing deals with their overpriced shares. This recent diagram published by Bloomberg that quickly went viral puts paid to any doubts about whether that's occurring. Indeed, there's been a wave of deals done with shares including OpenAI and AMD, OpenAI and CoreWeave, and Nvidia and Intel. What might worry investors is that the cash, the compute, and the equity are all flowing in a loop with multiple players reporting the same wad of cash as their own revenue. The next element is the existence of bubble participants buying each other's products in an effort to demonstrate insider faith in the technology and its structural status as history-making technology. The worry, as this chart reveals, is that while the pace of the buying is accelerating, so too are the receivables. This is Nvidia's receivables, and what you can see is that sales on credit is accelerating. Now what you can't see is that the rate of increase in receivables is actually faster than the growth in revenue. Therefore, a rising proportion of sales are based on a promise. Next, the presence of vendor financing, which is used to sustain the appearance of growth. This diagram that I put together shows the deals conceptually. Nvidia sells GPUs to a hyperscaler who then pays cash to Nvidia, but not really. You see that cash is sent right back by Nvidia to the hyperscalers in return for shares. So ultimately, Nvidia is vendor financing its own sales in return for equity in its customers. This is clearly unsustainable. Nvidia can't keep diluting other shareholders in the hyperscalers forever. Finally, you see a massive jump in capital expenditure and physical build out to scale whatever the new technology is. You can see the jump in capex for AI in this chart. What you can't see is that the forecasts are for an even more rapid increase in the next five years. Now this is all possible because there's so much hype around the technology that share prices have surged, bringing down the cost of capital for the bubble participants. And with that lower cost of capital, and after all the equity deals that have been done, companies in a final wave of pretend to extend, start borrowing money. The AI boom has now triggered a massive debt spree among hyperscalers. In just seven weeks, Amazon, Google, Meta, Microsoft, and Oracle raised a staggering 120 billion US dollars in bonds, suggesting cash flows are insufficient to cover exploding capital expenditures projected to reach $534 billion next year and consume 80% of the group's forecasted cash flow. And we know that because we've already seen Nvidia's rising receivables, or lack of cash receipts. Historically, GPT booms have all evolved along similar lines, and in the next video, we'll discuss how these have historically unwound. So that's all for now, and I'll see you again soon. In the meantime, continue to follow us on Facebook and X, and read our blogs at rogermontgomery.com.